I'm Teresa, and I recently read the book Night by Eli Wiesel, and I had such a hard time reading it, not because it was boring or anything remotely close to that, but because it was such vivid detail that Eli wrote with that didn't really explain what happened to him, but showed you what happened to him during the Holocaust. And he kind of made it to where you could experience it yourself, to where you didn't have, have to like empathize, where you could be in his shoes. And um, I think that one of the big ideas in his book that really had a profound effect on me was how the last moments of the dying have a really big and lasting effect on the living. <clears throat> he shows this throughout the book um, when his father dies, when his par when his mother and his sister die, and um, the one that had a big effect on me was when his Polish friend Juliek was actually playing his last concert though on his violin to a audience of dying people. And um, the book actually says, all I could hear was the violin and it was as if Juliet's soul had become his bow. He was playing his life. He played that which he would never play again. I shall never forget Juliet. Page 95. Um, this had a, a really big effect on me because this, this setting is actually um, where my grandma, uh, on, Feb on February 22nd at 9.03 p.m., had taken her last breath. As you can see, it's already been transformed into a guest room. There's no longer a hospital bed. <laughs> but this, this excerpt had a lot of effect on me because when my grandma was taking her last breath, I was just so happening to be singing to her. And I had started singing to her throughout the day because I knew she liked my voice. But I continued on until the very last moment because I knew it was the best way to say goodbye to her. Because there was no way I could say in words how I felt. And I feel like Juliet knew the exact same thing because he was playing with his entire heart. Instead of trying to express how he felt through words, he did it through music. And that's exactly what I tried to do, um, or did. <laughs> but also, um, it had a lasting effect on me, just as it did Eli, because uh, Eli said, <clears throat> Even today, when I hear that particular piece by Beethoven, my eyes close, and out of the darkness emerges the pale and melancholy face of my Polish comrade bidding farewell to an audience of dying men. For me, even when I hear the songs that I sing, whether it's on the radio or on my playlist, Anywhere I hear them, I immediately think of my grandma, and I think of the last moments when I'm singing to her. And I, I think it just shows that what happens in the last moments of someone who's dying, whether it's you singing, whether it's you holding their hand, whether it's um, them singing or playing something, I feel like it just, it will always stay with you. Eli shows this, and I can relate to it. So overall, I think that Eli's book was very, very emotional and also is very easily relatable because not many people have never lost anyone. There's always suffering, always someone who's dying. It's not something that's out of ordinary. But um, Eli shows this and that's why I so very much love this book. So thank you for watching. <laughs>